Hello, it's Dan Bunker here from United Learning's Ed Tech Team, and I just want to have a look at a more complex setup using the crumble board. So in this setup here, I've got my power from my battery pack going into the crumble board with using the positive and negative uh, wiring. And on the other side of the board, I've got my um, power going out and my sparkle wired, wired in. And you know that the port D on the crumble is for the sparkle. So that's why I've wired up port D. And on the first sparkle, which will be known as sparkle zero, I've got the power coming in again, um, and I've got port D coming in and port D going out and the power being passed on via the output to the second sparkle, which is going to be sparkle one. Now, just to add a little bit of complexity to this, I'm going to now add in a switch. So when this switch is pressed, it's going to uh, have an, an effect on my uh, program. So I've got my positive and negative um, wired up on my switch here. And I'm going to start by putting the positive. Um, if I had a red wire, I'd use a wet red wire, but I've run out, so I'm going to use white. So I'm going to add the white wire to the positive and I'm going to wire the negative to one of the other ports on this uh, side here and just to allow a bit more room I'm going to put it on port B so when I'm trying to uh, program the switch uh, it's where you've wired the negative wire to is, is the port that you want to call so in this case it will be port B so I'm now all wired up and uh, it's now a question of putting the program together before I send it to the crumble board. Now we've wired up the hardware, let's have a look at the crumble software needed to create the program. So I've got crumble open and to save a bit of time, I've got a few things ready uh, just to start assembling my program. So I'm going to start with the start block. So on the program start, I'm going to have a loop that is constantly uh, going round. So it's a do forever loop. So I, I can drag that out and put that into the, my program. And what I want to do next is check for a condition on the switch. So this is, uh, if the switch is pressed, then I want something to happen. So uh, I've got an if then statement and I'm going to use this uh, control here to say if B is high, it, that means if port B is on and it's port B I've wired up, then do something. So this condition here, which is part of the selection process for this program, is in, that, in the loop. So it's going to be constantly checking if B is pressed, if the switch is on. Now if it is on, what I want to happen is for um, my sparkle likes to change. So what I'm going to do is just go through a color change here. So the first sparkle is going to change to orange. It's going to wait for a second and then sparkle naught will change to red and then sparkle one will be amber and there'll be a wait there. So I'm gonna put that next bit in to my uh, loop here. Now, once that uh, button is pressed, I want to change the lights and make them flash. So I've got a do a number of times here. So here's a, a loop, not a forever loop, but it's a, a count loop where it's got 10 times where we're going to change the sparkle from uh, one color to green. We're going to wait and then we're going to turn it off. So we're going to get a flashing light going green so if you can imagine a, a peloton a pelican crossing when the when the button's pressed uh, once the traffic stop the light uh, will flash green so i'm going to put that into my uh, forever loop here and then i just then need to work out what the condition is when the button isn't pressed so all the rest of the time then I want the traffic to be on green and the pedestrian on red. So if I put that at the end of the if, um, then that will be forever green for traffic and red for the pedestrians until 
the button is pressed when we start this sequence of the lights changing. So once I'm happy with my uh, selection here in my program, I can send it to the crumble board. So I'm going to click on the green button and then we'll go and have a look at what happens on the board. So now we've sent the program from the crumble software to the crumble board. We're all ready to test. We're already in the, the kind of the steady, steady state without the button being pressed. We've got the traffic on green. We've got the pedestrians on red. When I press this button, the selection will happen. It will notice that uh, it's high and then the uh, light will flash 10 times and then go back to the normal state. Press the button again because it's constantly looking for that button press. We'll see the change happen immediately. So there you have it. It's a slightly more involved program using selection in uh, our project for the year five physical computing.